Hey guys, here recently on the channel, I've been using some uh, Chinese built antennas that I've purchased myself. Um, everything from the old uh, quarter wave vertical telescopic whip with the red feed point. I actually bought a second one of these to the uh, MA50 uh, positive V dipole. And then right down to uh, here recently, the MC750 portable antenna. Uh, this one from uh, Chelius. So I get a lot of questions. There's been a lot of great comments, and I haven't been able to get to all of them as far as purchasing and getting these antennas and what the deal is with them. I want to go over that in a video and, uh, and kind of let you know my thoughts, mistakes I've made, uh, the positive things about them, the negatives about them, and just some overall kind of buyer beware and, and what to do if you're thinking about buying these. Also, what I want to address, I do obviously get a lot of uh, comments on, that are geopolitical and they talk about China, the U.S., tariffs, all that stuff. Tell you what, I'm going to address that too at the end of the video. After I get through the positive, we'll talk about that as well. So please wait and listen and watch the entire video before you act like a little girl all mad and uh, type stuff in the comments there and be a keyboard warrior. I will, I will really love to hear your um, intelligent um, opinion and I will give you mine as well and we'll uh, and have a forum about Chinese antennas and, um, and how to purchase them and what they're all about. Stick around. Hey guys, I want to start this off by saying I've had a somewhat positive experience purchasing and using uh, antennas from China. Now, I say somewhat. It's not 100%. I've had my snags, my issues, not just with antennas, but other ham radio type things that I've purchased from China. And I'll start off with, and I'll tell you this, I, I what I make, my channel is monetized, and what I make on my channel, I don't go out and spend it on a anything other than reinvesting it back into this channel for stuff to review. I don't know. I get a lot of offers. A lot of them I turn down. Most of them I do. Occasionally I'll go, yeah, I really want to uh, review that and, I, and I'd love to do it. And um, But what you're going to see in pretty much every antenna, not just pretty much every antenna I've ever reviewed that came from China, I purchased from different spots. I've purchased from eBay, I've purchased from Amazon, I've purchased from AliExpress, I've purchased from Banggood, I've purchased from Timu. Out of all of those, if there's one bit of advice I can tell you is to purchase directly from Amazon. Amazon to me seems to be the safest. Now, I've also purchased direct, directly from the builder like Chelligans and got great experience from them. No issues, no problem there as well. Seem though, I think like, and I hate to say anything, you know, bad about the companies. It's not them. It's the builders and the people that are affiliated with them. But let's just say AliExpress. I purchased a, my first antenna from China ever was a JPC-12 antenna. And that antenna had problems. I did a couple videos on it and had issues down at the feed point. I could, it, I had a, uh, a short, a bad ground connection or whatever, and I struggled with that. But the cool thing is I bought that antenna and I was honest. And you watch those videos, you saw that I had to overcome that and correct it. Thing is, uh, I still have that antenna. I've used, it, used parts of it. I actually just went out and purchased a this is advertised as a JPC-12 parts. It looks a lot different than the one I have, but um, I'm going to add this back to the antenna and, and, and try this out. What, 20-some bucks I paid for that? Hey, I want to try it out. So that was um, an experience I had that I was able to really give a fair and honest opinion on that antenna because I purchased it as well. Uh, recently, the MA-50 antenna, the, uh, the dipole antenna, that thing was amazing. I had a great experience with it. I, I purchased the tripod for that thing directly from uh, Chelligans. The antenna itself I purchased from AliExpress, and um, it, it 
took a little while, but I got it there. What I've found uh, also, I, I, I recommend um, Amazon. One of the things about Amazon, too, is a lot of the stuff is in stock if you're an American here in the United States. And, and it, it gets here quicker. You can get it in a couple days. I know um, I, I got one of these. Uh, the second one I got in two days. Uh, it, it was quick here in the U.S. from Amazon. So the, the MA50, I got that, like I said, from uh, AliExpress. Direct got the the um, the tripod direct from Chelius, but there's an American. I if you're looking at these, take a look at DX Engineering. Um, they sell them and well, they sell them as well. And I've actually gone out from DX Engineering and, and purchased some parts and stuff. I actually bought this bag. That this is a a JPC um, or an MC 750 portable bag, but I, I wrote parts on it because this is just full of extra stuff that I, I purchased from. Um, from uh, DX Engineering to uh, to add to add to my antenna stuff. So different parts. I have some ideas of some things I want to do and uh, things I want to build, and, and and with some of the antennas I have. The JPC seven that I have now is the old JPC twelve. I bought the add-on kit. I got that from Banggood and had a good experience on that. It showed up. It worked well. Um, in the future, I I want to. Uh, take and uh, make it a I want to add a wire between the two verticals and turn it into a somewhat of a vertical dipole and I went on Amazon and bought a four to one balance and yes it's made in China but I got it really quick from on Amazon so I've had experiences with all of them now we'll tell you this uh, I had a video on a couple years ago when I first wanted to buy an FX4 CR radio I went on Am on AliExpress and purchased it not from the original from the builder, but on AliExpress as it was advertised. I got a tracking from them and said it was on its way. I was excited. I was going to get that radio. It showed up. It was a little tiny package. I opened it up, and it was just a little tassel in there. And the tracking information got it all back, all the way came all the way to me, and it was just I don't know. I think I was scammed. Uh, but the good thing is I paid for it. With PayPal, I put in a complaint with PayPal and with AliExpress, and my money was refunded to me on that as well. So always kind of the way you purchase is another way to uh, make sure that you're safe. And pretty much any way now with uh, with all of the uh, the bang goods, the Timus, the, the the AliExpress, um, using something like PayPal, it's a, it's a layer, a, an extra layer of protection that um, that, that works for you. Um, I've got some other antennas that I, that I purchased. Like I said, I've just I haven't tried out yet. I've got the JPC um, uh, 350 here, and this is a um, a lot like the uh, the the MC 750. This is like that, but this has a bigger coil, and um, and it, or maybe I should say it's kind of like the JPC 12, but a bigger coil. And this thing will work on 80 meters. I got this because I enjoy 60 meters, and I'm going to go out portable with this antenna. I'll open it up. I'll take a peek inside of it, and um and use it on 60. So. That's an antenna that I, uh, I'm looking forward to. Just got it. I mean, just got this thing. So there's another one I have. Um, like I said, I'm not a turning this channel into a Chinese antenna channel. And uh, I don't want people to think that. I love all antennas. And, uh, I, and I've just heard last couple months what proceeds I've gotten from the channel. I said, you know what? I'm going to try these out and check them out now. I know a lot of people talk about intellectual property and stuff like that. Uh, recently, I didn't even think about it. Using the JPC-12, everybody's saying your co thing copies the buddy pole. Okay, I, if that's so, then so be it that that is something that buddy pole, I guess, needs to their intellectual property maybe put towards you know them. I don't know if they have any recourse. I don't know if it's the exact same antenna. I don't know if Buddy Pole gets theirs. I will say this. I have spent money and purchased from Buddy Pole as well, along with uh, Wolf River Coil, um, other U.S. people I bought from. I bought from Alpha Antenna and did uh, quite a few uh, uh, videos on their uh on their their loop, their uh, magnetic loop, and then I gave that that antenna to another YouTuber who did videos on that. Another one I've done some videos on as well as Chameleon Antenna. They've offered me, they gave me some antennas, and I've uh, done quite a few videos on that. They're uh, 
excellent. They're just excellent antennas. They're, they're great. I love that. And I still have the, uh, the 40 to 4010 uh, infed half wave, which also can be used as a dipole. I've done quite a few videos using that chameleon antenna. Quality, quality, amazing antenna. The tactical delta loop, I use that. I love that. And there's another antenna that I moved. It was given to me. I passed it forward to another YouTuber for him to do videos with and, and to review it and have fun with it. So because it was given to me, that's why I moved that forward that way. Because, yeah, I believe in the American products as well. I mean, I want to experience every antenna I can. I'm a YouTuber. That's what I do. Um, and I've also purchased from Europe. I've got European antennas that I've used, um, quite a few different ones. A Slidewinder coil, which is one I love. I bought an infed half wave from France. Uh, you know, when I worked in Poland off and on for a couple years and was testing a lot of different and using a lot of different antennas over there as well. Yeah, an antenna from down under. I love that, uh, that, you know, that as well. So I'm not a Chinese antenna guy. I'm not turning into one. I just want to use every darn antenna I can and experience them all as a YouTuber and share that experience with you. That's what I do and, and how I do it. So if that bothers you, uh, that's, that's cool. I understand it. If you don't believe in buying uh, from a certain country or whatever, I, hey, that's your right. I, I get it. I tell you, there's, there's products that that um, that I don't buy because I'm not happy with uh, who advertised them and who, who their, uh, their their person was that uh, that that or their advertising campaign that they use for the product. So I just quit using it. But I didn't get in get on uh, YouTube uh, channels or forums or whatever and go to town and tell everybody how bad they are. I can tell you something: you're not going to change the world in the comments of social media. I learned that a long time ago, and you know it's just a reflection on you, not the product itself you, you you know whether you're right wrong or different whether we agree or we di uh, disagree uh, it's not a good look so um i'm telling you this is who i am i'm going to try these antennas out who knows i may end up giving them away i bought these though so i'm kind of a hoarder collector when it comes to antennas and there could be other stuff out there as well that i want to try i've also purchased from uh, and have been given um uh, from a uh, small etsy type uh our our ebay type uh antenna builders here in the united states um man uh tim n9 sab his stuff is absolutely amazing i've purchased from him i've um he's given me a couple of antennas because i've bought so many from him and i've tried his stuff out as well so i will say overall um getting back to chinese antennas um if you want to try them out, I mean, that's you. That's your prerogative and do as you want. It's a free world. Another thing I do know, too, uh, as I'm get, making this video right now, the, the whole tariffs and the politics of tariffs or what have you. To the best of my knowledge, uh, consumer electronics and items like this are not part of the tariffs. So before you type a comment in there, I'm never, we're not going to get any of this because of tariffs, whatever. It's not happening. That's, you know, do some research. Um, that may change. I don't know. Things have been changing every day, but I don't care about politics. I, I, I'm not, uh, yeah, we all have our, you know, we, we follow it or whatever. But when it comes to the, this channel, when it comes to ham radio in general, um, I, I, I want to communicate with all people regardless of their politics. I want this channel to be about antennas, radios, operating portable, and, and, and ham radio, not politics. So if you have a comment and it's political, if it's over the top, nine times out of ten, I'm going to delete it. But um, if you want to have a an intelligent you know, conversation about it, I told you my feelings on it. Tell me your feelings on it, and um, and we can move on. It's sad. I tell you what, you know, four years ago when I started this channel, I was so naive. I really thought because we as hams had to study and pass a test to uh, get our our license that uh, hams in general were like really intelligent people and and all nice guys or whatever but becoming a uh, a, a youtuber I, I learned real quick that uh <laughs> man all walks of life everybody there are people that just have to become keyboard warriors and, and and negativity on the other side of that too though i have met as a youtuber the greatest people on earth that have just uh supported me um have, have been just they mean the world to me now lifetime friends that i've met here through youtube and through ham radio so think about it before you comment but th there you go that's my uh 
how I feel. That's my um, advice on buying Chinese antennas. There are more coming. I've got two or three more that I purchased last month that are coming uh, for on my channel. You're going to see them. Um, it's just the way it is. I've actually got I've got a camper uh, that I'm going camping in May. You'll see a lot more of uh, me out on the beach with wire antennas and building wire antennas. That is my first love. But um, when I go camping, I'm probably going to take a couple of the Chinese antennas and each day put a different one up and uh, and play around with them as well. Anyway, there it is. There's my uh, two cents worth and just uh, how I feel about it. Uh, feel free to comment. And like I said, just keep it... Uh, Keep it good, keep it clean, and uh, I understand we all have our opinions and our feelings about what's going on in the world, but I'm going to, to continue on this channel um, playing with any antenna and every antenna, regardless of uh, where it came from, you know, just to see what it's all about and to share it with you guys as well because that's what this channel is all about. I'm learning, and we can all learn together. Till next time, I'm Walt K4OGO. If I didn't just uh, tick you off, <laughs> like and subscribe. Till next time. Stay salty, my friends.